Hi, if you've got Windows 10, you might want to record using the camera built into your laptop or computer. You don't need to get any additional software, it's built into the computer here. And you can do this just by simply going into the menu here, your Windows menu, and scrolling down your applications until you find camera. Really nice easy name, they haven't overcomplicated this. Just click on it and it will start up. Now the first time it starts up, it might tell you that it wants to record or share your location information. I said no, because I don't want to share that with anybody. So I'm being a little bit on the safe side here, but it's up to you if you do want to do that. When it starts, for me, it started here in photo mode and you can see on the right hand side, it's got a little picture of a camera here, stills camera, and it says, take photo when I float over the top, the mouse floats over the top of it. I want video, and that is this one up here. It looks like a video camera, so I'm going to click on it. It also floats over the top saying video, and when I do, it's now in video mode. So the things I need to know is if it's in the right format. And by the way, this records in MP4. Lots of people might ask you what format it's in. So let's just click on the settings here in the top left-hand corner, and you'll see it's got a pro mode. I wouldn't worry too much about that. In fact, it didn't really come up with anything except for adjusting the brightness. You've got a framing grid. Let's do the rule of thirds. And it's got photo quality. And if I scroll down, you'll see it's got video quality, 1080p. That is high definition. And for me, it's recording at 25 frames per second. It's not giving me any other option there. So this is absolutely fine. If it doesn't give you any other option, you may as well stick with it. Some cameras might be 720p, that's smaller. So 1080p indicates the number of pixels down. It always tells you down and 720 is less. Okay, I am actually will turn on the pro mode here so you can just see it. And that's it, you could do time lapse and all sorts of things like that. Let's just close it. There you are, this is good for framing up. You can see it's got the grid here and on the side, it's got this brightness. And if I click on it, I can adjust the brightness of the image. So maybe I may want it a little bit darker perhaps. So that's maybe good. Now, if you find the grid lines distracting, then you can actually switch them off. Okay, I'm good to record, except for one thing that I've got plugged in to this computer. And that is the camera that I'm filming with. I can actually connect another camera in here using a device and that device is this. It's plugged in here, it's the CamLink 4K, you can get others. So I can use that camera rather than the one built in. How do I switch? Top right hand corner, there's this option to change camera. If I click on it, it just flips around. That's the front facing camera and this is the camera that I've been using. You can see it popped up there for a moment saying CamLink 4K. Let's use this one because it's actually nicer. When I'm ready to record, I just click on this take video and it will become a little record button. And you can see that square, red square, which is kind of indicates stop taking video and I could pause it as well. So I could now talk to the camera, do my thing, and now I can hit stop. When I hit stop down at the bottom here, it's showing me the video. I can click on it to play it and it's going to load up and I can now hit play just like a media player. Okay, there we go. I don't need to see it. So where did it save it? Well, if I go into my file explorer here and click on it, it's in pictures and camera roll. There you are. These are the ones I've recorded. You can now use these for editing or to send to somebody or even to upload. As you can see, it's really straightforward. One of the things you really have to kind of remember is where it's stored. So don't forget pictures and then camera roll. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay safe.